Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this time I'm going to teach you how to make a Balloon Pikachu. With Pokemon Go being really popular, everybody's going to want one of these. Let me show you how to catch it. For this design, you'll need three 260s. You'll need a yellow one for Pikachu, a green one for the wristband, and another light green one for the ground that Pikachu sits on. We're going to start by making the ground that Pikachu sits on. Get your light green 260 balloon and inflate it halfway. That's really hard to do, so you might want to use a pump. Let a little air out and tie. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. The round's made of five or six flower petals, depending upon how big you make them. You make a flower petal by folding the balloon over, grabbing the end where the knot is, and twisting it in to this section, like that. So it looks just like that. It's basically a loop, flower petal. Now we have one, so we need five more, maybe four more. For the second one, it gets a little bit easier because we have the first one to hold on to. So now we can twist it again, and we just want to make sure that they're about the same size. Two down, three or four more to go. For the rest of these, you just keep doing it. When you've made five flower petals, you want to arrange them so that they're all laying the same way. Like that. And you can see, I have enough room for another one. So I'm gonna make six. And I don't really have room for a seventh, so I'm gonna stop there. But I do need to let the air out of the end over here. So I'm gonna push the air to the top. I'm gonna snap my fingers on it and pop it. Let the air out slowly and then wrap this around the center once. Maybe twice. And now I have the flower that my Pikachu's gonna sit on. Now comes the time to make a one balloon Pikachu, technically. We're gonna take the yellow balloon, 260, fold it in half, and you wanna blow it up right to that middle point. This can be hard if you're using a pump, so you might need a friend. Let some air out and tie. Give the balloon a squeeze and a stretch because you want the air to be nicely distributed. We're gonna make the ears first. Since Pikachu has long ears, we're gonna do sort of dog ears, about three or four inches long. One section, second section, the same length. These two things should be the same length. We're gonna take the knot here and twist it into the seam over here. Now we're gonna make a small flower petal for the head. Not very big, see, you know. Pretty small. And there we have the head like that. Now we're going to make a little tiny bubble for the neck. Maybe about half an inch. And then we're going to do the front legs by making four one inch bubbles. So there are my four bubbles. I'm going to twist this seam here where the neck meets him to this seam here where the rest of the balloon is. And you get that sort of cluster of four for the front legs. Now we're gonna make the body part, which is just a section that's two to three inches long. You know, sort of short. After that, we're gonna make the hind legs, which are two really small flower petals. You also want these to be soft, so make sure you give them a nice squeeze. And also make sure they're fully twisted. So you should have something that looks like this so far. With this section here, with plenty of uninflated section at the end. We need that, because we're gonna do the zigzag tail out of that section. We're gonna twist a small half inch bubble, and then another small half inch bubble. And that second one here, we're gonna pinch twist it by folding it over like that. Pinching it, pulling it, and twisting it. And that gives us a nice right angle for that part of the tail. We're gonna do that again. Make another small half inch bubble, followed by another small half inch bubble. And we're gonna fold it over. We're gonna pinch twist that one now. Just like that. And if you have any uninflated section here on the end, I really don't have much, but go ahead and squeeze here out to the end and give it a nice little stretch or a massage so it looks nice and straight like that. 
Then we're gonna arrange it so it looks all zigzaggy. And there we have our Pikachu balloon. Now I know it doesn't look exactly like Pikachu yet. The art will help with that, trust me. But next we have to put him on the flower. And we're gonna need our other 260 for that. Get the 260 out that you're gonna use for the wristband and just puff inflate it. Just so it holds a little bit of air and then tie a knot. But make sure you leave plenty of slack. Like that. Now we're gonna take this part with the knot and we're gonna wrap it into the center of our flower base. Like so. Making sure we leave plenty of slack on the end. The other end we wanna wrap in too. So we're just gonna take the end and we're gonna wrap it around the center of the flower base. Once or twice is really all you need to do. Once again, you wanna make sure you have plenty of slack coming out from there, because we need to attach the Pikachu balloon onto it. Now comes for my favorite part. We're gonna put Pikachu on the base. We're gonna take the slack, we're gonna feed it from the front side of his front legs, through, wrap it into where his back legs meet his tail, and then back down to the center of the base. See, wasn't that easy? Now we just have to adjust it a little bit. We're gonna pull the handle down, make sure all the flower petals at the base are you know, facing the right way. I'm gonna take the back legs here, and I'm gonna push them underneath the body there. To sort of make it look like he's hunching forward a little bit. This is why they needed to be soft. Here we go. Then we're gonna adjust the tail so that it points up and out like Pikachu's tail would. And we're done with the balloon. The only thing left is the art. The art on Pikachu is really easy. You can get away with just a red and a black marker. But if you have them, I would also recommend a brown and a white marker. I'm gonna start by drawing the stripes on his back with a brown marker. But if you don't have a brown marker, go ahead and use the black one. The stripes are just three stripes on the back. They're real easy to do. They don't even have to be perfect. They just sort of have to be there. Next, we're gonna be drawing on Pikachu's face. With a black marker, I'm gonna draw two large eyes that are basically just black circles filled in. Next, between those eyes and right in the center of the face, I'm gonna draw the nose, just like that. Now I'm gonna draw the mouth, which is a curve from one side below the eye to the nose and back down, and then an arch that connects the vertex of those two ones, I don't know. It's been a long time since I took math. But something sort of like that. Next, get out your red marker. We're gonna draw two large red circles on the cheeks because that's what Pikachu has. It's like making the eyes, but red. And you know, not up here, over here. There we go. Oh, it's looking like Pikachu already. Don't forget to fill in the mouth where the tongue would be. It's so cute. And the last, but the best touch in my opinion, the white paint marker. Make sure you shake it. We're gonna put a little gleam of white in the top right corner of each eye. For me, that makes it. And we're done with our Pikachu balloon. Wasn't that easy? Now I'm gonna warn you, once you make one of these, you're gonna be making a ton of them especially now with Pokemon Go out. But Pikachus are hard to capture, so this might be their only option to get one. And one of the best things about this design is that they can actually wear it on their wrist, so they don't have to worry about keeping it in a Pokeball. But it doesn't matter what I think, what do you think? Do you like this Pikachu design? Let me know in the comments below. What other Pokemon would you like to learn how to make? Are you Team Mystic, Team Valor, or Team Instinct? I think you know what color I am. I'm Michael Fludger Balloon Twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even Pikachu.